Yoga isn't just a form of exercise. It's a way of life. Yoga. When I think about yoga, every aspect of my life comes together in harmony. Yoga. There are truly no problems that we can face in life that can't be solved by the yoga way of life. Yoga. Heartache. Yoga. Stress. Yoga. Obesity. Yoga. 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 My flexibility has always been horrific. <sighs> Touching my toes was always a struggle and to make matters worse, I've been dealing with a condition called snapping hip syndrome for the last few years. This condition causes a snapping sound in my hip, believe it or not, occasionally when I open my legs. For the most part, it doesn't cause me any pain and it's pretty easy to live with, but on occasion, it can cause some real sharp pain in the inside of my hip and a lot of discomfort. To add to this misery, I go to the gym four to five times a week, putting my body through hell in the hopes of obtaining that glorious Dorito-shaped physique that will bring all the boys to the yard. Yoga has always been recommended to me because it's such a great um, active recovery tool that you can use to improve your flexibility, improve your mindset. So I thought, why not just do it? Like just try it out and see how it goes. I've never tried it before and all these hippies are raving about it. I gotta try it, man. <laughs> so that's exactly what I did. I went on to YouTube and searched for yoga, found a channel called Yoga with Cassandra, which I'll leave linked in the description below. It's a brilliant channel. She walks you through how to do all these different yoga routines and just so happens that at the start of lockdown, she was doing a 30 day yoga challenge. This challenge was basically 10 minutes of morning yoga every single day for 30 days. Now you may be wondering, Thomas mate, what are you talking about 60 days for? And the answer to that is, I did the 30 days, I enjoyed it so much, went back to day one and started again and did it to 60. So to begin with, I thought I'd set some benchmarks so that I can monitor my progress and see if I'm actually improving in flexibility. So here is the downward facing dog. You're supposed to have a straight back and straight legs. As you can see, that's not happening there. Next up we have the Warrior 2, it's actually quite a deep squat there which is good but the back leg needs to be a lot straighter which I just haven't done there. Next up we have the Upward Dog, absolutely horrific balance on the upper body there and could be doing with stretching a lot deeper than that. And last we have the Triangle Pose, I managed to get quite low on the stretch here but my back leg is nowhere near in line and where it needs to be so it's absolute disaster. All of these benchmarks are as bad as I thought they were going to be, so I have my work cut out for me. I would also like to mention that some of the days in this challenge require you to use um, equipment such as yoga blocks. Um, I didn't have those, so I decided to use dumbbells for that challenge, but I definitely would not recommend using dumbbells because they're very uncomfortable to lie on and, and the exercises that require you to be holding them out in front of you, uh, it's pretty difficult as you can imagine and it's more of an arm workout than anything else and you're just fighting the urge to drop the dumbbells through the floor. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Okay so I just completed day number 10, that was the neck and back session today and wow, what a difference. I woke up and I felt like I, you know when you have like a really tight neck and it's just your whole upper back is so stiff. That's what I felt like today, but I feel unbelievable after that. Proper loosened up and feel pretty good ready for the day, so happy with that. The ego pose is impossible. Yeah, just wrap your, wrap your legs around each other like spaghetti. I mean... <laughs> How do, you, how do you actually do that? My arms do not bend this way. I thought I would just interject to give you three tips that I've learned that will help you get the most out of your yoga sessions. So the first one is 
don't eat or drink anything just before doing it. I mean, that goes without saying with all exercises, but for yoga especially, don't eat or drink anything at least like a couple of hours beforehand, especially do not drink coffee. Do not have caffeine unless you want to turn your yoga session into Tough Mudder. I've made that mistake. Don't recommend it. Tip number two. Wear loose clothing. Or wear no clothing, depending on how saucy you feel. That's up to you. Contrary to popular belief, yoga requires a lot of stretching and having restrictive tight clothing on is only going to hinder you. So don't do that. And the third and final tip is to practice frequently to keep up your flexibility. Like all good things in life, it requires a lot of time and effort to actually get anything out of, so it's not just like a one-time thing where you go for your yoga session once and then that's you, you're namaste yourself to victory. You need to keep doing it to keep up your flexibility and make progress. So by far the best days of this challenge for me were day 10, which was the neck and back, day 14, which was the lower back, and then day 19, which was the hips and back. Um, the common trend there is obviously back. I get a lot of kind of back pain and a lot of tightness in my lower back, especially after I've been doing movements at the gym like squats and deadlifts and those kind of things. Probably because my form's bad, but we'll keep that for another video. Doing these yoga stretches in particular really help loosen off that kind of tightness, um, which is brilliant. I've been going back to these days quite frequently and just redoing them uh, since doing the challenge, which has been very beneficial for sure. So, was it all worth it? And the answer to that is absolutely yes. Forward folds never really got any better, unfortunately. I'm still quite tight um, in my hamstrings. This is literally how far I can go. <laughs> and no matter how much I tried, I could just never really get past sitting upright, which, you know, is a shame. But I guess if you're only doing 10 minutes of yoga every single morning, then the results aren't going to be anywhere near as good as if I was like fully stretching my hamstrings every single day. Um, so I'm still really happy with the results, but obviously there's still a lot of work to be done there before I can count myself as a bendy boy. The snapping sensation in my hips got a lot better, which I'm really pleased about. It improved quite a bit with my flexibility increasing. In addition to doing the challenge, I also did some um, direct hip stretches as well to try and improve this and it actually worked so I'm very happy with that. My hip still does snap every now and again but it's nowhere near as bad so I'm very very pleased about that. And you can see in this clip here I'm touching my toes and it's pretty easy now. I can actually do it. So at the start of the video I set some benchmarks as a way to compare my before and after to see if I've actually improved at all and made some progress, so let's get into it. It's time for the results. First up we have Downward Facing Dog. As you can see my back legs are a lot straighter now. Still got a bit of a curved spine, um, but overall it's definitely improved quite a bit. Next up we've got the Upward Dog. You can see that my flexibility in my lower back is much better than it was before. And I'm also not stumbling and eating the duvet this time. <laughs> The Warrior 2, back leg is much straighter there, still keeping the deep squat, so big improvement there. And finally we have the Triangle Pose, so managed to keep my back leg in line this time and managed to get a good fold over there. So, across the board some pretty big improvements I think. Obviously my progress could be a lot better if I did longer sessions of yoga at night instead of just doing the 10 minutes every kind of morning, because that will improve my flexibility much much more. Since starting this challenge, yoga has become a staple of my morning routine. If you're looking to upgrade your morning routine, you should check out the video that I've done where we go through a step-by-step -step morning routine to set you up for the day. Um, but other than that, that's it for this video. Please like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.